Okay guys, we are back today with a quick update, spring update of my grandma's 2009 Pontiac G6. Um, pretty much, if I can recall, the last time it was on the channel was when it was in a front end collision. Well, since then, it's obviously been fixed. Um, and since that collision, actually, a light pole took out this whole back end of the car um, in a Target parking lot, I think, last summer. Um, and that car wasn't shown on the channel since then. So basically, the car's been repainted from here to this door. The whole door was repainted, and they blended it in, and that wheel was replaced. That was the wheel that was all curb rashed and the insurance lady or whoever their adjuster um, basically added a new wheel in there to just give them a new wheel because that was curb rashed so anyways this was all repainted and redone they did a decent job for what it is i i could i need there's some orange peel in it which i can wet sand and get that out um that will be done once the car is in my ownership um, so yeah since that was done that was I'll get to that in another story, in another video. Um, then the front end, if you can remember, there was a front end collision about a year and a half ago. I don't know if the car was showcased since then. So, um, headlight was replaced, bumper cover was replaced, everything up here was repainted. So the car hasn't lived a, um, it's lived a pretty easy life. It's just been a little beat up along the way. Um, it's only seen one full winter, so it's still pretty mint um, as to what GXPs there is out there. I mean, most of these have been riced out by now. This is in still in great shape. Goodyear Eagle LS2s, hey, I think they have about 30,000 miles on them, and they're still really showing no signs of wear. They're getting a little dry rotted. They do have a 2015, or uh, 2014 date stamp on them. Uh, so they're a few years old now, but they still have quite a bit of life in them. I'll go over to the interior real fast. The car did sit over winter in the garage, so it hasn't even been detailed yet on the inside, and it, it does look a little rough. I want to say this is either for my grandfather's possible pocket knife in the back or my grandmother's jacket. The leather is definitely not the best, I, as you can see. Um, it's more or less a vinyl material. Again, it's not the best, um, but yeah, there it is, 85,000 miles worth of wear. They weren't too impressed with the way these seats are wearing. And I smacked my head on that pillow right there, so definitely not an easy car to get in um, if you're taller. Do you still get your gauge sweeps? Turn the headlights. Um, and everything is here it is you know six speed automatic just a quick little update again the interior needs to be detailed of course um but everything is in working order i just wanted to keep you guys updated with the car it's still here it's not going anywhere anytime soon um my grandmother is actually talking about getting a new car here in the next couple of months so you guys do know what that means since like the start of this youtube channel this car will be mine so um she said she said she wants to give it to me I'm going to offer to buy it from her, um, but you know, that's it. the car will be in my possession one way or another in the next six months, so there you guys go, there's a quick update. Um, if you do see the car, next time you do see this car, it will probably be in my ownership, so um, you have a train coming unfortunately, but I'll wrap the video up here anyways. It's a little dirty, it needs a really good detail, I mean it's been sitting for a while, but um, no, there it is, guys. Just very brief, under four minute review of the G6 update, wherever you want to call it. Um, that headlight needs to be, that whole thing is just sun fucked. So um, I will get a new housing for that when I do get it. Other than that, we're going to do a light tick to the windows and we're going to call it a day. So, as usual, guys, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you all later.